everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. Just finished doing about two hours of live with Tyree on Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Keisha Charmaine to catch me when I'm going live there. I'll also be going live here on YouTube as well, spontaneously. I won't really plan it too much, but um, I would like to do it more often and engage more. So definitely be on the lookout for me live on instagram and on youtube as well and so it's late although it's late um didn't want to wash my face off quite yet i wanted to talk about this because i do commonly get this question what's up with leave-in conditioner on locks is that okay is that not okay what do you recommend now at first and foremost as i like to say often your hair journey is your own you have to do what works for you and your lifestyle and your preferences so please remember to be respectful when it comes to other people's lock journeys it's their right to do what they choose now now a lot of people you know there's some people who are completely against products altogether some people are only for 100 percent natural products and some people are product junkies and some people you know they switch it up i think i i fall into that last category i switch it up sometimes i'm a no product girl you guys have seen me do retwists with just water um, sometimes I'm all natural. You guys see the product that I sell. Those are all natural products, 100% organic. Sometimes I will use a product by a brand that you'll find in any given beauty supply store or Target or Walmart or Walgreens. That makes me fall into all those categories. But uh, my point is to each their own, first and foremost. Now, what do I personally recommend? If you choose to use a leave-in conditioner in your locks, I only recommend that it be water-based yes it, of course it can have oils in it that's great um but as long as water is the primary ingredient as long as it is a lightweight product because at the end of the day when you're using really heavy products on your locks on a regular basis it leads to product buildup now i'm really happy to tell you guys all about this brand called nature gold first of all i love when i get the opportunity to promote a small business, an up-and-coming entrepreneur, or even a, a well-established entrepreneur. I really love to promote people who own their own business. Support entrepreneurs, guys. Remember, now more than ever, support the entrepreneurs, especially the ones that look like you and me. And typically, whenever I'm using a product brand that is a, from a small business, it's usually a black woman who owns that. So it's really dope when I do encounter a black man owned business yes this brand is owned by a black man a brother check him out on instagram he gifted me his leave-in conditioner and his lock butter now this leave-in conditioner is king i love this the ingredients are spring water water-based coconut oil rose petals aloe vera avocado oil pumpkin seed oil jojoba oil peppermint essential oil and cassia essential oil. How can I describe this smell? Hmm. It smells a bit cinnamony. Spicy. It smells kind of spicy. It smells warm and spicy. That's how I describe it. It's very pleasant. Very. Mm, it smells like pastries. I really like that it came in the other bottles for me to pour into the spray bottle so I can really, you know, decide how much I want to use. If I want to dilute it, I can do that. Yes, and this, this smells amazing. When you have a mixture like this, you don't necessarily need to oil your hair afterwards. You know, I like to advise people to mist your hair with water before you oil it so that you can retain the moisture. However, this leave-in conditioner comes with the water, with the oil, so obviously you're skipping the middleman. It's combined. works just the same. You know, as I previously stated, I don't recommend the overusage of butters and heavy creams and things like that on your locks because of the potential of product buildup over time. However, when you do do so, 
make sure that you melt it on your hands first. You take a glob of this and neglect to rub it in your fingertips and put it on your hair. Oh, it's going to get stuck right there. It's going to get stuck right there. So remember to rub it in your hands and melt it completely first. I mean, personally, when I'm using butters like this, I prefer to use this primarily on my scalp. Sometimes I deal with a problematic scalp and butters are really good for healing skin in general and your scalp is skin after all. The ingredients in this lock enhancing butter is hemp seed butter, olive butter, argan oil, raw honey, coconut oil, and lemongrass essential oil. Super clean. Definitely smells like a lemongrass. <sighs> These products smell super good and they're super clean so they're guilt-free because they're all natural ingredients. Make sure you check out these products. I'll have a link below to the website and the Instagram. Big up to the entrepreneurs. Shout out to Black Business. Thank you so much for watching. Love, light, and locks. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe. You can always visit www.keishacharmaine.com for hair growth products, hair accessories, and more. But don't leave just yet. Check out my featured video and my latest video.